So today, part three, mystery of the melted post. So we figured out why the post was melted. We set it up exactly where we wanted it. And today I'm gonna to show you how to position your torch so that you get beautiful soldering on of your post without any risk of melting or any other crappy difficulties. All right, so we've got the post on. It's sitting on top of its cute little square of solder. The square of solder is just a little bit bigger than the post so that when it melts, we'll have a good connection but we won't have any kind of Iggy cleanup to do, which you know is always mission number one, zero cleanup. Okay, it's on there touching. When I'm heating it, you'll probably notice my finger will just sort of touch it. I'm not really pushing, but it's essential that they're making contact because it's very easy to set it up and you think it's there, but actually there's a tiny gap and then it won't, you know, it won't do its thing, okay? So the whole key with the post, of course, is if you heat the post, if you give it a dirty look, it'll fucking melt the little shits. So you have to keep the heat on the piece, not the post. Okay? And that's really all there is to it. I'll show you. So we're using a little double zero tip. My finger is just gonna rest on the third arm. And you see my flame is on the piece, not on the post. That's what you're looking for. It flowed, zero cleanup, all the things that we want out of our life. Okay, that's it. So, and but that's the whole key. You notice that my flame is basically parallel to the board. Do you know what I mean? Because if you go up here and point, you'll end up hitting more of the post than you think you're hitting the post, and that's when the little shit will melt. Awesome. All right. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You are welcome.